But that's the first crappie of this Grenada trip. <laughs> it might make the cut even. I'm not sure. It's going to be close. Well, we're going to read into how far that was down. We're going to learn a lot about that fish right there. But that's a 12-inch fish. Um, and I can tell you, we just got out here. We're learning a lot. Are they shallow? Are they deep? So uh, stick with us. Please subscribe. All that great stuff. We have a lot to learn. And today, you're on that with you're on the trip with us. Stuff. We've got the Ozark rod spread. So thanks a lot. All right. So after we catch a fish, especially the first fish of the day, we identify what it bit on. Pure minnow, five feet down. That's what it bit on. So we put that on the old noggins. And we see now we're only in basically nine foot of water so we're we're testing the theory that they're shallow right off the bat right or wrong we don't know yet but that was five foot ish that was five foot down and a small fish Not tournament fish. Got one. That's my guy. You like the orange? You like the orange? Real. Yeah. Standing up already. You like of the orange jig head. Both of them come off that? No. That first one was a straight minnow. So an orange jig head, small. All right, folks, welcome back to Three Pound Fishing. Today, we're gonna be spider rigging the home of the three pound fish on Grenada Lake with these Pro Series Ozark rods. They're fantastic. Folks, if you wanna talk about spider rigging, if you wanna learn about it, if you wanna see what it's like on Grenada Lake during the fall, this is your episode. Please do me a favor and subscribe. And All right, we changed it. locations again. <laughs> We are jumping all around, trying to learn this lake, trying to figure out what's going on. It's not been the easiest, I'll tell you. But that's part of pre-fishing. That's part of it. That's why you do it. So we want to thank Ozark Rods. Go to OzarkRod.com. Trolling rods are incredible. You really got to check them out. These are the 16-foot uh, footers, the Pro Series. Beautiful. I'll give you an up close later. So we're rolling. A lot of boats in the area. So one thing that's interesting about me and Wade is he fishes with bobbers, floats during spider rigging I don't I'll give you a look at that here so this is mine right here hold on right there that's mine Take a look at these floats down here See them? right there so so Wade tell the fine folks at home why you use floats you want the the true reason why I use floats, or sure. the... no, of course. <laughs> I gotta watch Matt's poles, so it's easier to see a float go down <laughs> while I'm watching his poles. Now, uh, I use floats, just primarily. I've been using floats my whole entire life. Love using floats. I can see when a float just gets ticked a lot easier than I can tight lining for some reason. I mean, I can tight line as well, but I just prefer f floats. Uh, the wind picks up, start getting some waves. I really like having floats on my pole in. Uh, I think it's just easier to see if you have a bite. Other than that, that's really about it. It's just my preference. So, yeah, in Lake Wa yeah, on Lake Washington, it was, uh, you know, we had white caps, 22 mile an hour winds. It was freezing, I remember that, but there was clearly an advantage of having floats just because his poles weren't being slammed into the water and of course I was hard-headed and I decided to keep what I was doing but his floats were just riding the waves so that was really nice but yeah just a different way of doing it so another question some people are gonna probably ask is what kind of pound line we use we use 10 pound uh, we don't really mess with that uh, mono high-vis actually you use clear do you I use the ultra clear and you use the high-vis the high -vis? yeah so I like I like the the high vis, my eyes aren't as good as his. He's about 10 years younger than me, so I love seeing that line just move when I see that high vis. So, but 10 pound, that's what we use. Then I use these little Grizzly Jig, uh, little you know mini bait caster reels from Grizzly Jig. They're about 16 bucks over there. Uh, give them a holler. Those are nice. They're out of the way. 
they're not like the other little bait casters where they get hung up in the sides. These are actually really good quality reels. Work out really well for spider rigging. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, bye. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I got one of Wade's rods. Good job, Matt. Not a keeper. Pretty fish, though. Pretty fish. our best fish of the day. On camera. Ooh, that's a good fish. Bam! That's a good fish. We're gonna pay for it, but <laughs> good fish though. Pay dearly. Oh yeah. That's a good fish. Oh, it's, of course, it's a drum. That's a catfish. Of course, it's a catfish. Way to help it. <laughs> you need help. I got gotcha. you. Thank you. That's a pretty fish, though. Yeah, good eater. Look at that fish. Did I show the camera? Good fish. As he cracks his screen to his live scope, I think I might have had a fish right here. Yeah. I'm a jig. I'm a jig. Oh, God, let's don't make a mess. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thirteen feet. How deep is that one? Bigger. All right. <laughs> Not tournament fish, but good fish nonetheless. We like this. All right. So we're establishing there, roughly around nine, eight to ten feet, somewhere around there, and having better success in deeper water. Twelve to thirteen foot of water. I was eating Oreos too. It's always a good, good Coleman if he's eating Oreos. It's one of our favorite snacks and Doritos. Bam! Other sponsors, America Fish Tree, Attractors, those guys are awesome. Jinko Fish, and of course, awesome. Cornfield Crappie Gear, awesome. Um, just everybody. So we're having a great day out here. Um, we're gonna take it to the end. Hopefully we'll put some big fish in the boat here. Right now it's been slow though. Learning's tough. You're down, you're down. Let it mess with your depth or any of that stuff. Ooh, that's a good fish. Fish there. Again, 13 foot. Wow, that's that's a good fish. That's a shallow. 
Shallower one. Oh, shallower one. I think good fish. Not too shabby. Hey, thanks for joining today. It's, it's been a great day of learning. Learning in one polling and following just the big fish. That's a Woo! hog. That's a hog. Hey, thanks, great day. We got some really good fish. We're stoked about it. We're totally learning a new technique. And uh, unfortunately, it's gonna happen during this tournament, good or bad. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, hogs and it and all came later in the day which was which was kind of fun we learned 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 so big fish we're excited thanks for watching guys later Thanks for watching another 3-Pound Fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.